All right, and so let's go ahead and open up Mesh Mixer. So if we open up Mesh Mixer, I'm going to add a file I just created. And now in Mesh Mixer, I have an STL of my name. Um, by hitting the T key, I have my um, different types of ways of scaling this and moving it around in space. So let's go ahead and add a model um, to this scene. So just going to come over here and drag a model. It's going to ask, do I want to replace or append? I'm going to hit append. It may ask me here, and actually it does, um, do I want to sort of scale things? Let's just say no. And let's check out our scene. So here's uh, my model, and here's my words. Um, so all we have to do is move this now over to um, the side of the model. We're going to uh, emboss this on the side. So um, hit the T key to transform, and we can now move my text around in space. Um, there is a, a software called 3D Builder from Microsoft that supposedly does this as well. I gotta tell you, I've, I have a hard time using that software in general, so I don't use it. All right, so you can see here that uh, my words are, are sort of sticking out of the side. Um, I can pull those in just a little bit. Remember, anything that sticks out like that is unsupported, and you may have to generate some supports, which will sort of take away from it. Um, I can also rotate that just a little bit if I wanted to, and pull that in just a bit to the side. So now the side, uh, this is on my model. We can now hit Accept. And all we have to do is combine the two models. So if we hit the Control key, and I click on both, and I'm going to do Boolean, um, actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to use Combine. I'm not going to use a Boolean for this. And here's my uh, letter saved as one STL. We can export that now. We'll just call that August model. And if I pull that back into Mesh Mixer, you can see that that's embossed onto the side of my model. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna show you uh, another site um, where we can do the same thing but make little toys for our office. So if we go to a site